In this example, we're going to show you how to set up a variable deck width. So let's uh, create a bridge pretty quick. Uh, I will add a new bridge and it will be a pre gutter bridge asking me for the alignment. This is going to be the alignment. Done. Uh, let's set up some peer lines and just for the purpose, let's put a couple of them. Uh, three peer lines is good. Start from here right and uh, in this direction. So I got these three spans right and let's set up the deck. So first what we do is going to create a standard deck. So standard deck with constraints, pick up the template Um, we're going to pick up this standard with constraints. Right, that's a variable. It's okay. And say this template is going to go from here to here. And I'm going to add any constraints yet, right, uh, to see how it comes up. So it comes up as a standard deck with a certain distance. Uh, I can also see it in 3D right here. Um, this will be on my deck, right? But I wanted to change, I wanted to be variable, right? So one way to do it is define a geometry element. So creating with horizontal geometry, I will just place a single line just to show you the concept. So place a line between two points uh, and it's going to start maybe, I'm going to do it grossly so you can see how it changes from here to here. Of course, you can just control the distance, control the angles, right? And let's see how it works. So this line now is a geometry line, right? Created with Open Rose technology. So now let me edit this deck so this edge will follow this line. So I go with selection and say I'm going to modify the point control and this deck this is point 0.5 I mean this alignment is going north to south so uh, point 0.5 is the one that is going to follow this line so I said the direction to control will be just the horizontal now I can do vertical um, if I do the vertical or both so e the deck will follow the horizontal and vertical setup of this line but since I haven't defined a profile for it I will just modify the width and the cross slope will be the same as the deck was set up to it. So select it horizontal right and say select so this is the line it gets activated as you can see Right, done, apply it. And now I have my variable deck. And this is how you do it. Now, it could be a more complex construction, of course. Uh, this line could be uh, composed with a line and an arc. If it's on curve, or it has a widening. So we can do all of that. But the beauty of this is that this deck now is controlled by this line. So if I do this, the deck also changes with the line. You got it? So this is how you do a variable deck width. And of course, you can do it also on the other side. Thank you.